Christophe Galtier was hoping to refocus on the league and Uber Eats title chase after defeat to Bayern Munich saw them crash out of the Champions League. They got a helping hand from Marco Bizot, pushing out Kylian Mbappe's effort from distance. Carlos Soler on hand to smash again to the top corner. Dutchman with a 76.2% save percentage since the World Cup ended. Not showing his best light there though. A third goal, first since November for the Spaniards. And yet Vess look to puncture the brittle confidence of the champions. Three goals in his last five in Liga Nuberitz. A match winner against Strasbourg. The first time scoring in successive games since October 2021. But just when Press thought they might get a point, and in 12 straight defeats to Paris Saint Germain, who else but Kylian Mbappe rounding Bizot and netting a dramatic late winner, equaling Edison Cavani's league scoring total of 138 goals. Paris stretched their lead at the top. And that's after Marseille threw away a two-goal advantage. Hard-earned, considering that Leonardo Bellardi was sent off after 29 minutes. Cancel Mbemba, though, scoring for the second time in three games. Profiting from Matt Sells. Push out. And suddenly, a penalty offered them the chance to double their advantage. Looked a soft appeal. Alexis Sanchez didn't look the gift horse in the mouth. Riding high. 40 minutes ago, Frederick Antonetti's racing. Two goals down. And yet, what a response. Well, he'd only got his first goal earlier this year. But Jean Ud Aolu netting once. And then the finale was something to behold. A slight deflection, but nothing taken away from this stunning effort of the Ivorian. Breaking Marseille hearts. They grab Strasbourg, a vital goal and point. Well, it was some quick treble trouble for Clermont when they hosted Lens. Finally seemed to get back into their groove. And in particular, Lois Openda. 11 games in all competitions without a goal. Angelo Fulgini releasing him and scoring on the half hour mark. Just four minutes later, Adrian Thomasin, who's been decisive since arriving from Strasbourg, unselfishly put it on a plate for the Belgian. Maxime Gonalon robbed. Moradiao beaten again. And he would be less than a minute later. In just four minutes and 30 seconds, Lois Openda scored the fastest Liga Uber Eats hat trick in over 50 years. Third Liga player to score a hat trick in five minutes over the last 75 years. Some performance from the striker, and he wasn't actually done there. The match ball already prepared to be taken home. But he still had time to set up teammate Alexis Claude Maurice. 4-0. And Lons back onto the podium. Third place Monaco hosted Rance. And despite being five places and 11 points better off than their visitors, it was the who were unbeaten still under Will Still. But the post helped the English-Belgian coach Maintain that statistic. Wissam Ben Yedder denied a 17th of the season. It wasn't just the captain of Monaco denied by the post. Brazilian Vanderson also frustrated. Ivan Juf's goal leading a charmed life. But at the other end, a break on Alexi Flips releasing for an Balogun. Rantz securing three consecutive wins in Liga Nuberitz for the first time since April 1978. A club who just keep seeing records fall and points tallied up.
Ren haven't had the best of times. And Ozer were looking to take advantage. Gaetan Perrin finding Gauthier and his effort off the bar. Eight times Ozer hit the woodwork. 2023, as many as Paris Saint Germain. Ren were looking like a goalless draw for the first time in Bruno Genesio's Breton reign. Baptiste Santa Maria stung the gloves. Leonis Radu. Ren failing to score in back to back Liga Nubri games for only the second time under Genesio. But they were fortunate not to lose the game. Nuno da Costa just missing out on the points. Well, this was a game that really only caught life in the second half and only took a minute after the restart. After equaling and an Azar's top scoring pursuits in all competitions in the 21st century. Jonathan David going out alone with his 51st for Le Dog, beating Remy Rio in for the injured Anthony Lopez. And suddenly the Canadian had a chance to double his and Lille's advantage. Ryan Cherky fouling Gabriel Gudmundsen. David clinical. And the highest tally for a Le Dog player in the top flight after 100 appearances for 42 years. Yet Bradley Barcola would certainly give Leon some hope. Holding off in space, the ball fell kindly for him. After failing to score in his first 22 appearances in the top flight, that's three in his last six. Alexander Lacazette on after a month out injured in place of Sharkey. Not the impact he envisaged. VAR confirming handball and another Lille penalty. 23-year-old David, the first Lille player to score a hat-trick in the league since Nicola Pepe against Amiens in 2018. Ten goals since the turn of the year to become the league's joint top scorer with 19 alongside Kylian Mbappe. And yet Lacazette instigated a late, late show. Making amends for the penalty he gave away. Brilliant pick out and header. He's picked out by Sayel. Kumbedi the first time, the second time, Bradley Parcola and a beautiful step over from Quentin Tolisso. Lacazette the match winner in the October clash between the clubs, this time his late brace earning a point. Now the joint second top scorer in the club's history alongside Bernard Leconte, 1-4-9. Not needed a Liga and Uber Eats reset, but face a Nice side still unbeaten under Didier Digar's guidance. Just five minutes in, Terra Murphy silence La Bourgeois. Scoring in successive road trips after his Monaco double. Well, anything he can do, Musa Sissoko can do just as well. Ludovic Blas's delivery. Former Tottenham midfielder with his second of the season, but first since mid-October. Well, Blas would miss a penalty, smashing the crossbar, and it looked like he and the Canaries would pay dearly. A first goal in Liga Nuberitz for Youssef Nde Ishime, the Burundi international's first goal since his arrival in the winter. But not since late 2019, had not lost four league games in a row. And their substitutes would help to make sure it didn't happen. Strader, Apua and Jao Victor combining. The latter finding the head of Mustafa Mohamed. 12 games without a goal. The Egyptian striking to grab a point. Lawrence high-flying days appear behind them, but they still hit the 40-point mark after 26 games. Something visitors Twa could only dream of. They did just have one win in the last six. It's been a tough post-World Cup with the departures of Terry Murphy and Dango Watara. But there are two replacements combined to open the scoring. Roman Favre to Bamba Dieng. Two goals now for the Senegalese in his last three at home. It took until injury time, though, to put Estac to bed. 
Stefan Diara scored in the reverse fixture. That ended two apiece. This time, clinching a 2-0 victory and all three points. Lorient with 43 points and 12 wins after 27 league games, the highest total in their history at this stage of the competition. It's been a nightmare time for Angers. Alexander Dujou taking charge after Abdel Bo Amzama was sent packing after offensive comments in Montpellier. They look for a reaction. But they got an unlucky deflection. Mikel Dessler sneaking in. First Liga Nuberit's goal. In fact, only his fifth professional goal at 28 years old. Monge had conceded at least one goal in each of their last 13 home games, so that continued. And it only got worse a minute after the break. Lovely football. Philip Montagne celebrating 200 games as a Liga Nuberit's coach. And certainly deserving of seeing Tis Dalinga getting his 10th of the season. It's been some return for Michel Desacarian with Montpellier. No team has collected more points than them since his return. And a few collected kilometers that fit Mauasa couldn't beat Benjamin Leroy. Jaxio hoping to avoid failing to score for the eighth time this calendar year. Sadly something they would suffer but Deji Savanier finding the head of substitute, Eli Wai, the youngster with a clinical finish, scoring at least 10 goals in two consecutive seasons. First time a Montpellier player has done that in a decade. Lois kept the score down, but in the end, a comfortable win. 30 points now in the bag for De Zakarian. 27 goals in week 27 and five away wins making it a good weekend to be on a road trip. Paris Saint-Germain suffered in midweek but they did this weekend stretch their lead to 10 points after Marseille threw away that two goal lead. Lons back on the podium, Monaco starting to feel the heat as are Rennes in fifth with plenty with eyes to chase for European places. Angers cast the drift. The stack, the Jaxio and Ozer still have hope. Rest just outside. As are Strasbourg after that late point in the velodrome. Lyon and Nantes kick off week 28. And there'll be eyes on how Reims will do against Marseille. Les Rémois still having a late charge for Europe.